Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, it is afternoon, not morning. I am here at my camp by my hometown here in Southern California. I came home for the Thanksgiving holiday. I had a wonderful time with family and it was just a quick trip. I'm packing up to get ready to head on to my next adventure. I thought this was a perfect time for a little tea and a talk because there is a question that I get very often and I thought that this was a great time to address it. That question is, how do I feel about the trailer in comparison to the truck camper? It took me some time to feel that I was ready to answer that question. I really needed to live with the trailer, in the trailer, for a while before I could give you a informed opinion on that. It is on the forefront of my mind because I took it on a whirlwind adventure up to the Pacific Northwest. I had a guest traveling with me during that time. I've had my mother come and join me to stay in the trailer and I've traveled thousands of miles with it now, towing it now. So I've been on some crazy roads on the one through Big Sur and interesting situations. I've been living in the travel trailer for over eight months now. So I definitely feel like I have a good feel for what it's like to live in and tow the trailer. If you're new to the channel, back in 2019, I sold or gave away almost all of my worldly possessions and hit the road full time. I had purchased an old truck, a Chevy Silverado 2002 2500 HD diesel and a old truck camper, a Lance 825 light truck camper. It was a 2000. In April of 2000, 22, I did sell the truck camper and I moved into a travel trailer. So a lot of folks have been wondering what uh, the differences are, if I feel any, you know, if I have any regrets having made that decision. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So here we go. A quick word about the sponsor of today's video, AG1 by Athletic Greens. This is my health insurance. <laughs> I don't start my day without it. It bolsters my immunity, packed with 75 vitamins and minerals. Minerals. Health starts in the gut. AG1 empowers the gut for whole body health. We can't achieve a healthier everything else without a healthy gut. Working in harmony, each of the 75 ingredients in AG1 work together in harmony to amplify each other's effects to achieve whole body health and provide your necessary daily nutrients. Taking AG1 is easy, convenient, and it is your one-stop shop for a healthier you. A daily routine made easy. All you have to do with AG1 is mix one scoop with eight ounces of cold water. It's something you drink once a day. It's for everybody. Optimized for athletes, life leads, and everyone in between. Vegan, paleo, and keto friendly. Go to the link in the description now to get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. This is a game changer for supporting your immune system. AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. Thank you once again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. First of all, I know that there are a lot of you that miss the truck camper, and I definitely do miss it too. I know that it was an adjustment getting used to seeing me in the travel trailer, and it was obviously an adjustment for me as well. I loved my old truck camper. It was perfect for me starting out on this new lifestyle, and it was the right rig at the right time. One of the things that I've come to appreciate more since I've had the travel trailer about my old truck camper is the ease in which it was to travel. I could actually park in a regular parking space, uh, definitely could turn around, make a U-turn very easily. Um, there's all those things that I hadn't really fully appreciated until I started towing a trailer. However, as I have mentioned, my truck is old. It is a 2002 and it was getting really tired of carrying all that weight on its back. I was very concerned. I started to have a lot of issues with the truck and I knew that if I were to need both a new rig type of rig to live in, like a truck camper, I was going to need a new truck as well. I couldn't afford to do both. So my thought process was to maybe get a trailer 
and the truck would at least have the burden of the weight taken off of it. It might run a little bit better and then down the road I could get a new truck. I could afford a new trailer and a new truck. However, I could not afford a new truck camper. I don't know if you know, but truck campers are very expensive. I really did not want to go used again. I wanted something brand new. The truck camper, as I said, was very old. It had manual jacks, uh, so I never took it off the truck. I traveled with it on the truck all the time, and I did not feel comfortable taking it off of the truck and trying to back up and maneuver and do all of that on my own. Uh, anyhow, so <laughs> I just got lazy, left it on the truck, and that created its own issues because if I were to set up camp somewhere, I'd have to leave items there, set up a tent, you know, and uh, that way that would hold my space until I came back because I was taking everything with me, my whole home with me. And uh, it was old. It was very, very tiny. I had lived in it for three years and to only be able to take three steps inside the camper it gets a little cramped after a while. I did spend a lot of my time outdoors, but I also spent a lot of time indoors working, what have you. So I just really felt the need and the urge to have more space. I hadn't really planned on getting a travel trailer. I really did not know what I was going to do. However, my sister came across this trailer and she happened to show it to me and it was the first trailer I had seen, a new trailer, where I just fell in love with the layout. It has the rear dinette, which I think is just fantastic with these panoramic windows and that is what sold me on it. I have a beautiful kitchen with a huge prep space for food. I have my bedroom back there and it, almost a full bathroom, pretty much a full bathroom, it's, though it's smaller than one you'd find in your home. It has a full-size shower, and that was really attractive to me after being in such a tiny space for so long. Since removing the truck camper from the truck, I feel like the truck is running so much better. Knock on, knock on wood. Uh, it seems to have literally had a weight lifted off of it. Having said all that, I was very sad to see the truck camper go. I become very attached to cars. That was my home. It was my home and homes, apartments that I've lived in over my lifetime, homes I've lived in. I become attached and it's always sad to say goodbye. It all happened pretty fast and unexpectedly and unplanned moving out of that and into the travel trailer. I was very excited. I was so excited to have all this extra space. A lot of work had to be done to get it ready to be off grid ready. And I had a wonderful friend, Dan, help me out with all of that. So it is completely rigged up for solar and I'm able to live off grid for uh, very long periods of time as long as I have sunshine. The uh, tank capacity is much larger in the trailer than it was in the truck camper. That allows me to stay out in remote areas so much longer. So there are a lot of pros and a lot of advantages to having switched over. I would say the number one thing is the size, having more space, having more storage space, having more living space. It's almost like having a tiny apartment that I'm taking with me everywhere I go. I've had guests, as I mentioned, my mom came and stayed with me and she slept here in the dinette. I had a guest traveling with me who slept here in the dinette and it's very comfortable for two people. The truck camper was really, for me, only comfortable for one. If I had any guests traveling or staying with me, it was very tight and very cramped. This trailer is beautiful and modern. I think that the trailer and RV manufacturers are finally getting hip and trying to make them more competitive with the van life crowd and have more of a van type feel. They used to be kind of dated and even the new ones had that sort of brown upholstery, that brown look. And I love these black countertops, beautiful flooring. It's very modern and hip. The truck camper was super old and dated. I did the best I could with the materials that it came with. I didn't have time before I hit the road full time to do a full remodel. So it had some dated wallpaper in there, dated upholstery. And 
I was never completely happy with the interior that I had and just never seemed to have the time traveling all the time to do what I really wanted to do inside. It was cozy and it was home though for three years and I definitely loved it. So the idea when I bought the trailer was that I was going to stay in places for more of an extended period of time and during the first part of my travels this summer, I did I did that. I stayed in uh, the Sawtooth Mountain Range for over a month, and uh, it really is perfect for that type of a situation. I can go to camp, I can unhitch, I can drive the truck freely, and I have a home base to go back to. I don't have to break down camp all the time. I don't have to move. and for that it is absolutely incredible now this fall i did a lot more traveling and i traveled to the pacific northwest and down the coast and those areas do not have a lot of free camping in fact i don't know really of any they don't have boondocking so i found myself staying in campgrounds the beach towns are not conducive to towing a trailer for parking, uh, you know, that a lot of things have to be pre thought out. You have to think about where you're going to park, where you're going to shop, where you're going to get gas. It's not e easy to turn this thing around. You have to be able to turn it around and make sure that you're going to have space to turn it around or you can get caught in a bad situation. I've got the hitching and unhitching down on this thing. I feel very comfortable with it. I feel very comfortable on wide open roads and backcountry and country roads. However, towing this trailer through big cities and again, places with, you know, grocery stores with very tight parking or gas stations that aren't really made for big rigs to go through. It is quite intimidating. Also, I'm not fully comfortable backing this thing up. I had my friend traveling with me through the Pacific Northwest and he was the one to back it up. Almost every campsite that we chose was a back-in site. So, yeah, I mean, I, once I get that dialed in and down to where it just is second hat to me and super comfortable, I think that's going to make me a lot less intimidated with driving and towing this thing. And I'll be perfectly frank and honest with you, there have been times when I thought, what did I do? <laughs> Why did I switch from a vehicle that was very easy to maneuver and get around to something that I have to think about with every turn I make. And then I remember back to when I got the truck camper and I was intimidated when I first got that. I backed into things. I backed into a car when I was leaving my apartment on the last day there. I backed into a neighbor's car. And I have to remember that it, it wasn't easy for me with a truck camper in the very beginning. So I give myself some grace and uh, try not to be too hard on myself because I think with time it will come easier. I love the fact that it's a brand new trailer. I'm the only one who's lived in it and it's all mine. However, I know that there is a period of time that they were just cranking trailers and RVs out and there have been some manufacturer issues that I've had to deal with and little things here and there. And sometimes it feels like it's just falling apart. But I just, you know, I know that people who have paid a lot more money for even more you know, high end trailers are having these issues. So it's not just me. And the truck camper even had issues, let's face it. So it's like owning a home, things are gonna go wrong. And luckily all these things can be taken care of under the warranty. It's just a kind of a pain in the butt since I live in it full time. So this is kind of where my head's at after having lived in it for over eight months. I do not regret it. So if the question is, do I regret it? No, I do not. It's definitely great to change things up, mix things up, try new things. And uh, I am still kind of feeling my way through this. I, at this point, want to continue my journey in the travel trailer. I have plans to build out the back of the truck, the bed of the truck. As a lot of you know, I got a camper shell for the truck and I do plan on setting that up as an overlanding rig so that I can take that into more remote locations for ease of use. I think that the plan to stay at places longer is a good one with a travel trailer. So if I want to move around a lot more, I might, either use the truck with the camper shell on top or maybe 
I'll end up getting something a little easier to maneuver in, maybe even another truck camper. You never know. <laughs> it could be that down the road, I just park this at a home base on a piece of property somewhere in a remote location and just have a home base. And this is just my home that stays there permanently. And then I have something else that I travel around in that is a possibility as well. You just never know where life is gonna take you. Whatever happens down the road, I won't regret having made this decision. I am curious as to what your thoughts are now that you've seen me here in the trailer for a while. Uh, my goal of this channel and my mission statement is to capture and share the beauty of the world with others. And I can do that no matter what I'm living in. I know that a lot of people said that they miss the truck camper. However, I don't think that it makes that big of a difference what I'm actually living in as long as I'm comfortable and happy and traveling and sharing the beauty of this world with others. I would love to hear any suggestions that you have to improve my quality of life either with a travel trailer or if you think you have another suggestion for a type of rig that you might want to see me in in the future. As long as it's constructive, I'd love to hear about it. I have tours of both my truck camper and my travel trailer on the channel. I will link both of those below if you guys would like to take a look at both of these setups in pretty good detail. I thank you all so much for watching this video. I thank you for your support. I appreciate you all. This channel wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So. Thank you. I think uh, 2023 is gonna be an incredible year. Who knows where we'll be a year from now. Will I still be in the trailer? Will I be in something else? Will I have a little piece of property? Who knows? If we had a crystal ball, we'd know that, but we'll see. We'll check back here in a year. But in the meantime, join me on the new adventures for this upcoming year as we wind down 2022. Thank you all, and I'll see you on the next adventure. See you soon, bye-bye.